Hey Zebra fans, Tony from Rune Savers, and today is a big video. We're going to update you on, on Profi because they've got to update. It's now at 5.0, which went from alpha to beta. And so I'm going to go through and show you. Now you can turn on your saver without even touching a button. And so you go into gesture features, but first I'm going to show you the original styles you can do without the gesture features and without battle, fit, battle mode. And so please like, comment anything I missed. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer. And of course, please subscribe and that'll help the channel a lot. So let's get into it. All these styles and stuff are by Frederick uh, Fet, uh, and Fet263. Now, F Frederick is the guy who made Profi, and Profi is inside this. This is the NeoPixel lightsaber. Most of you guys know that. For those that don't, again, Profi NeoPixel. And so um, the new features include, well, let's go back to the old ones. The old features are, you turn on normal, normal flashes, blasters, multi-blast, you hold down your aux, move your saber, Probably one of the coolest features. Blast one more time to get out of it. And then, of course, you got your lockups. You've got your color changing. Oh, lightning block, which is power, then tap aux, then the opposite, so hold aux and tap power, you get into color changing. Oh. Gotta be careful with color changing, though, because with the gesture features, you can accidentally turn it off while doing color. So, so yeah. Change to whatever color you want for this sake, because it's Darth Maul. Turn it back to reddish purple, red or pink, whatever. And so, yeah. So now, to segue into 5.0, we're going to show you the gesture features. And so basically, um, when 4.8 existed, they added gesture features and they wanted to extend that. And so now they perfected it into 5.0. So I'll go through and demo all of the gesture features. So you have a stab on, which is kind of cool. Kind of like Kylo Ren on, on Force Awakens when he stabs out and they both all turn on. You have uh, kind of like a motorcycle twist off and twist on, it's kind of, maybe not, but all these config files have to be um, defined, and so, oh, there we go, and so, um, for FET263, for Profi OS 5, you have to define all of these, and most of them are, are set as default now, and so if you use a gesture feature, it automatically goes into battle mode, now battle mode is designed to go into choreography, so if you're fighting with a friend and you quick draw your saber and it ignites, it instantly is now in a new mode called battle mode. And so um, without any buttons, usually you'd have to hold your power button and clash like I demoed before, but now you can just clash it and it instantly goes into clashing. Now to get out of this, you just have to swing off really quickly. Now this is for lockup only. For clashes, you kind of have to you have to swing it and then swing out and then it'll instantly give you your end lock and begin lock. And so um, yeah, it's a very cool feature. Now if you don't want that, you can turn it off, and you can turn it on with your normal, um, like power of course, and you get your normal feature. So that's the difference between the two modes. Now if you're not defining battle mode, you can have those gesture features and still go into the normal mode. And so, yeah. So on top of uh, stab and uh, twist on, you have swing on, which is really, really cool. Um, oh, I need a force effect as well because I held it too long. Nothing like Darth Maul getting electrocuted. Anyways, back to the uh, features. Now, because this one doesn't have um, a way of monitoring your buttons, I mean, your power, um, Fed263 has done uh, passive battery monitor, which can be included on your boot sound when you pull the kill key, or when you change fonts, it'll show you the battery. Now, I find it kind of tedious to put on every single font, and so I put it in the beginning on your boot sound, so when you pull the kill key, you instantly know what the battery voltage is, and I put it on your font changing on your last font. So going into the first font, you'll know what battery voltage you have. So I'll kind of demo that here. Gotta go through all the fonts first. Yeah, I'll do that again. So for FET26's new going back of preset or font, you have to tilt your saber down and tap your um, auxiliary button, which is kind of annoying because I was used to the hold aux and tap power to go back while your saber's off. So, we'll show you again, so I'll get kind of closer, and so... Caravan is ours again. Now there's different colors to it, green means it's fully charged and you're ready to go. It'll stay with yellow for a while because that's kind of your in-between, and kind of an orangish is when you're getting low and you can charge it. Red is like you, you should charge your saber, and so um, that's one thing that passive battery monitor versus one button mod. Um, on on 22 saxes, you can easily tell what voltage you have by um, triple tapping on your um, single button. 3.79 volts. Now, for those that don't know what your full battery is on Profi, Profi holds 4.2 volts, and so um, out of the 4.2, that's telling you 3.7, and so I don't have much 
um, battery loss off this saber. But because of one button, I because you can see it very easily, I decided not to put on one button the passive battery monitor. Um, it's optional, again, if the customer wants it, I'll gladly put it on there. Um, one more feature that I wanna demo on this real quick is with gesture features, oh, after 15 seconds, I have to tell you, after 15 seconds, the blade will, the board will shut off, meaning that you can't use gesture features. And so, um, which is good because you don't want your board on all the time, it'll burn through your battery. And so there's a preset on there that, that basically tells you if you're not using it for 15 seconds or 15 minutes or whatever, it'll power down. And so to turn back on, just like normal, and then you can do gesture features. Now, um, there's dual phase on here as well, um, which I'll go into before I go into the, the really cool force push. But dual phase is basically, um, while your saber is on, you can go between your presets by holding and twisting. And so this is a Darth Maul font right now. Um, you can go through the fonts without even turning off your lightsaber and going through fonts. And so to go back, you have to hit your aux and do it and so it's it's very interesting feature um i'm not a huge fan of it because i like switching between things but it is there and so if you have like a lightsaber that's supposed to change color in like a video game or something like that it's kind of cool to be able to change your font on the fly so yeah. at last we will have our revenge i have been waiting now one of the features that they've added that is very cool that i like personally is uh the force push now, you have to add a file on it. If not, you will use your normal force effect sounds, which are usually quotes, so it doesn't quite fit. But um, the idea is if you're in the battle, battle mode, and you um, usually your force effects are this, so you hold it and then let go. That's my force effect as well as my. I challenge you, one warrior to another, and only the strongest shall rule Mandalore. But if you have a push.wav file, it'll go into that for your force push. Now to do force push, you have to hold your, your lightsaber very still, and this might take a few t tries because it's, it's still worked on. And so it depends on your config file, if it's sensitive enough. Anyways, so you have to hold it vertical, and you should give it like a push. Now again, you have to kind of time it right. So, oh. Now if you do it too fast, you'll get a clash. And so you gotta kind of work with it. So it'll be the Phantom, this wasn't the Phantom Menace push, force push, and I, I really dig it. Um, but basically, if you have an existing force effect that you like as your force push, all you have to do is rename it to push.wav file, and I'll describe that in the um, description so you guys can know. But basically, this is to let you guys know what I can do on commissions, as well as um, kind of informing you and spreading the word about the features on Prophy OS 5. Now, basically, you have two lightsaber modes. You have the prop battle mode, and you have the normal mode. Um, again. You can have battle mode um, separate from gesture mode. Um, to get into that, you have to hold your aux button and swing, which will give you your, your push dot wave, and then you're into battle mode. Versus normally, you just be into normal mode. So that's if you didn't know how to get into battle mode. Um, that covers most of the features. Um, what I want, we'll cover one more thing. Um, so gesture features. On battle mode, instead of trying to hold the button and clashing or melting or whatever, it's the same feature as melt, but you just stab. So, no buttons, just, and then to get out of it, you're, you move. Now, drag is a bit tricky, because you're instead of like hitting the ground and clashing, because if you clash to the ground, you get your normal lockup, you have to stab the ground, and it's kind of tricky. There we go. And, and if you move slightly, it'll undo it, but... Um, that's without any buttons, so battle mode doesn't have like blasters and stuff. Well, it does if you have a button, but if you had a saber with no buttons, you'd have majority of those features. Um, but, but yeah, still. Now, um, there's twist on, twist off, there's swing on, and there are all those other features all available for um, two buttons. One button, um, I cannot offer these type of features if the saber requires one button because, again, it's fed two sixes and he does not have a one button system that's adaptable. Now there are certain versions that I um, that might have it, like one button for 22 sacks has a twist on, no, the stab on and twist off. But the trick is if you have the twist off, if you do your force effect, it'll turn off your lightsaber because you have to hold and twist. And so there's things you kind of have to consider with every build. If you're wanting these features, they are available. Um, this is again in beta. When it becomes official and it's launched, I'll be happy to put this stuff on your saber. Now, I hope this informed you and you liked it. Of course, um, have a wonderful day and then of course.